Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm really excited for today's video. Um, I decided to start doing a bunch of tutorials uh, for you guys. Um, it was quite fun to build this one. Um, yes, make sure to subscribe, like, comment and share with your friends. It really, really helps out a ton. And yeah, let's get into this video. So, today we will be building this. Uh, it's a type of moon fountain which works absolutely amazing in fantasy builds or even just for um, playing in your base or something. And yeah, this is what we're going to build today. I'm quite excited for this. My first build tutorial. But yeah, this, uh, this is how it goes. It is a 9 by 15 area. And you can also use any material. I use these specific ones, but you can use any type of material. But yeah, let's start. Okay, so this is where we will be building. I'm currently in a deep sage cave. These are the items that I will be using. You can also switch out a ton of these items, such as the bricks, the slabs, and so on. So you go. So over here, you go four. And then two, one, two, five, two, one, two, and then four. So this is the base of the fountain. It is a half circle, but you can also build it as big as you want, or even smaller if it's too big for you. So then you can also build the second one as high as you want, but I'm going to go up by... I'm going to up by four. So one, two, three, four. Then I'm going to have that one. And then bring it up, not too close at least. This area is going to be five as well. Then over here, say so one, two, three, and then and then fill it up to the other one, but leave one block open. Same for goes for this side. Do the exact same and then fill it in. You have something looking a lot like, th like this, but you can also build it a ton bigger if it is um, too small. It's up to, totally up to you, but yeah. So then over here you go up one more. And then add slabs on the top, like so. And same goes for down here. You can just fill in with the slabs above here and you can so do the exact same on the bottom and then fill in the flooring with some stone bricks. So you will have be left with something almost like this and then you can take your stairs on the bottom up and destroy the first row on each side and then you can use stairs on the bottom like so and then on the lower area over here on the rest you can add slabs this is only so that the water drips don't so you don't see the water drips so when you are finished with the bottom area you can move over to the moon bit so I'm going up by one, two, three, and four. On the fourth one, place the block and go in a straight line of three, like so. Then place a upside down staircase. Oops. <laughs> then place an upside down staircase, like so, and the other one, like so. So you have something that looks a little bit like this. Then you can place an upside down. Or not. Then you can place a slab over there and a block over there. So you have a little bit something like this and then you can go up with m the stone bricks by two like so and then place stairs like so and run like that. Then take this one and go by three and then go by an other slab like so and brick stair 
or a brick block like so. So then you leave with something a little bit like this. Then you can grab some more slabs, place them on each of these sides, on either of these sides. Place your slabs here, here and two here. Same goes for the top. So then you'll have a moon shape thing like this. Then I'm going to use prismarine slabs over here, go over here in the top one of this block area and then the bottom one of this block. So then you'll have something that looks a lot like this. And as I said you can make it bigger or you can even make it smaller, it depends totally on you what you would like to do with this. Then grabbing the water, I'm going to break this block behind here then let the water flow down into this area. Also, what I recommend doing is breaking these blocks and only filling the bottom half like so. So you have a little gap over there. Then using your water bucket, only fill the bottom block. And then slabs are able to be waterlogged so you can easily uh, place water make sure you don't accidentally place on the slab above so then you have something a little bit like this and then you can just fill in the bottom area like so make sure you do not place on the slabs once again as it will waterlog um, like stead at the end you will have something that looks a lot like this but you can make it bigger, make it smaller, you can do you can use different resources and stuff. So I'm only gonna add the finishing touches which would be the mossy stones and so on, even adding some of the new updates such as this. I do not have to know how to pronounce this, but this is what I'm going to use. And yeah, then I'll cut back when I'm finished. So at the end this is what it would look like and this is only to add some lighting when it is dark um, so for example if I were to clear my effect like so it would give at least some lighting which can also always add more or you can replace some of the blocks with sea lanterns or even glowstone but this is what it would look like in the dark as I said it is totally up to you how you would like to build it but I really hope you guys enjoyed this and would use this in some of your builds and worlds really we hope it helps out a ton okay guys really hope you guys enjoyed it was really fun building when I wasn't doing a build battle. I really hope you guys enjoy this. Make sure to hit the like button if you'd like to see more of um, these type of videos. I have a ton more which I would love to do. And yeah, make sure you are subscribed if you haven't. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. So I want to give you guys a little sneak peek of one of my next tutorial videos. And Make sure to like if you would like to see it. And yeah, here it is.